we get asked all the time, where is the best place? How do I find silver? I mean, silver eagles have a huge premium today and you gotta be careful in watching your coins and there's some good values still. And you get the proofs and the satins, which are a bigger premium, but great rarity. Then you go to the rounds, but even those have a premium today with silver up, how many? 30% 30%. In the, since the beginning of the yeah. year. So US coin silver, 90%. Where do I go? Dimes, quarters, or half dollars? Well, in the past, it was always a question. Now it's just one simple answer. Pick the weight. Look at this one. So if you want a quarter pound of silver, we got it covered. If you want a half a pound of silver, we got you covered. If you want one pound of US coin silver, and again, this is US coin which means we're not going 12 Troy, we're going 16 US, so 16 ounces to the pound here for us. A lot of our competitors go 12 to make us a little bit closer to competition. We're going, we're adding four ounces. We're 16, that's whole, this whole thing here is based on 16 ounces to the pound, US coin weight. So tonight, this is a crazy deal. The more you buy, it gets even better. The more you save. But the bottom line is this, even at the quarter pound silver, you get a lot of stuff, Allie will explain, but still the price is outright fractions of where our competition is and it's everything. Now the quarter pound, let's just start with that because regardless of which way you buy in weight, quarter, half or pound, you're guaranteed this, the coins you see on your screen. We're gonna go through those again. But look at this beautiful pile of silver coins right here. Every purchase will be guaranteed a Morgan Silver Dollar. There's the Silver Dollar right there. You're guaranteed a Kennedy half dollar. That's that coming across your screen. Here we go with a Franklin. And going back in time, we have the Walking Liberty half dollar, all 90% silver, the Washington quarter, the Standing Liberty quarter prior to the Washington quarter program. And last but not least, or if you want to begin it with that, these are the two dimes. You have your Roosevelt and your Mercury dime. You are guaranteed these coins. It's just which multiple you get. And here we go right here with each oh, beautiful graphic of all of them. And again, it's a graphic of all that's coming. It tells you the gram weight. So when you get your grouping, you can sit down and say, okay, I got X number of dimes. That's X number of weight. And you can calculate and see how it's put together to get you these quarter pound, half pound, one pound numbers. And again, 16 ounces to the pound is the real difference. We have four ounces more per pound than our competition does on the same. But here is how it breaks down. It's called the 20th century mix because it's inclusive of everything. We guarantee you everything on that top shelf will be in every configuration, which means even the quarter pound will have all of that stuff, including the silver dollar. I remember one of the competition, we listened to the presentation and we said, I think, I think we looked at each other and said, we can beat that. We can do better than that. If you buy, the more pounds you buy, the more likelihood you have of getting a silver dollar in your pound. We looked at it, why don't we just put a silver dollar in every configuration and work right. backwards of that? That's yep. the big coin people want to see, right? But they also want to see everything. They don't want to just see Roosevelt's, they want to see Merck's. They don't just want to see Washington's, they want to see Standing Liberties. There were three 90% half dollars in this mix. The Walker, the Kennedy, and the Franklin. They want to see all of them. So that pile of silver is a pound. That plus the coins on the shelf is a pound. If you want to break it down into simpleness, just to make sure everything is encompassing here, here are some thoughts, okay? It's give or take 50 coins to the half pound, all right? And that includes the big silver dollar as a heavier weight than obviously the dimes to calculate the whole thing together. So with that, you're gonna get multiples of one, multiples of the other, but they're all gonna be inclusive inside of this. So unlike a lot of, again, our competitions with selling 90% silver, where do I go for the best value today? Are dimes better than quarters? Because they usually have one or the other. Tonight, you don't have to worry about it. 229 is a quarter pound. Then you go to a half pound at 399, a great savings, but even to the one pound, I mean, we saw one of our competitors saying you might get the silver dollar if you buy a pound from us. And their lowest price was, if you buy multiple pounds, $9.99. And that's by the weight comparison. If you go coin by coin, it's even scarier. If you go coin by coin on that quarter pound, 
you're going to be paying $525 for the same exact coins that are in our half a pound 20th century mix. For the, I'm sorry, quarter pound half a century mix. For the half a pound, they're at 1164 or at 399.95. For the pound, we did add them up. You're at $2,400 and $2,448 for the same coins that are in our pound mix. Steve just referenced this. Another TV competitor is at $1,000 or at $779.95. Again, it's all about where do I buy silver and how can I get U.S. coin silver affordable, right? And we've had many, many deals over the last year on here's some dimes. Here are some quarters, here are some half dollars, and they're all wonderful deals. But here is an all-encompassing 20th century mix, which will include everything. And it will include a big silver dollar as well as part of the overall mix. So you're not going to get an extra 12 dimes. You're going to get that big silver dollar in yours, which has the value, right? I mean, our competition, the dollar alone is 100 bucks. So just do the math backwards on everything else after that. So that means 49, doll, 49 silver, 90% silver coins, dimes to half dollars for $2.99. If you're looking at the half pounder, which right now seems to be the most popular. But again, what works for you works for you. Now again, this graphic will come with your presentation. So we'll give you a detailed breakdown of each one of the denominations here. You have your Mercury Dime, your Roosevelt Dime, the two different types of quarters, Standing Liberty, Washington, the three types of halves, Walking Liberty, Franklin Kennedy. Of course, we're guaranteeing a silver dollar on every one of the configurations. Let's put a one minute clock up though, please. I know this is a lot to absorb, but it's, look at this, a pound of silver at 779 where our competition's at $1,000. And the way we're breaking it down tonight is to give you an affordable way to get in on this massive deal of silver. It's been up 30% since January. So you wanna join in on that quarter pound at 229.95. That is a great time to jump in. But we're offering a savings as you buy more. Half a pound's double the amount, right? But it's not double the price, you're still saving. A pound, double the amount but of the half, but it's not double the price of the half. Still saving. So you buy more, you save more. But to get in on that half pound and all these 20th century, they're vintage coins. I think the latest date you'll get is that 64 candy. Well, here's another way of looking at it, and it's, it's, it's an easy way to go backwards. With silver where it is today, one ounce rounds or one ounce ingots at 50 bucks is a pretty good value considering silver eagles are 59 to 69, right? This is 16 ounces to the pound. 16 ounces at 50 bucks is 800. We're tonight offering, making available U.S. coin silver, and it has everything in it. Nothing's excluded. Whether it's the quarter, the half pound, or the full pound, nothing is excluded. You're getting everything on that shelf in this bag, period, plus a bunch of extras to get you to that weight in the first place. It's just a special deal.